Hi, I'm Craig Adams. It's another sunny day in Southern California. And uh, we're about to introduce our newest addition to our solar system LED grow light line. It's the solar system UVB. It's a supplemental UVB light. So first off, uh, I have a UVB light meter. Measures just the UVB levels. I'm here in prime afternoon California sun. My reading is about 270. So that would be a typical summer UVB level, 240 to 270. UVB is an important part of the light spectrum from the sun. Plants have evolved different strategies to deal with UVB, and it's particularly interesting for cannabis, which we'll talk more about when we take a look inside and, and see our UVB supplemental light. So we're proud to introduce our latest addition to the Solar System Grow Light series. It's the Solar System UVB. It's a supplemental light just for UVB. It's very high powered. It adds that important UVB spectrum, especially for final finishing, which has a very important important effects on cannabis, which we'll discuss in a moment. It's based around a, a simple T5 uh, bulb, but it's a very special design of very high power UVB output. Uh, we just checked out uh, the California sun level summer is kind of in the 240, 280 range. We see with this light while it's on, even at 24 inches, we are getting California sun level UVB. This will cover a 4x4 four four tray on its own or you could be placed in between your normal grow lights to cover a series of trays or a larger space. Hanging height is recommended between 24 and 36 inches to cover the canopy evenly. So it draws 25 watts so it's very low power yet very high UVB output. It also comes with a piggyback cable which allows you to run up to 10 lights in a series all on a separate timer. Uh, it's very high UVB output so we want to emphasize that UVB is not good for humans both for your eyes or for your skin so you never want to work directly under the light you always want to turn it off before you go into the room to uh, work with your plants. The basic strategy with UVB and cannabis is in the final finishing, the last two weeks, let's say, of bloom, cannabis has developed a natural defense to high levels of UVB in the equatorial sun where they're native. High levels of UVB tend to damage the plant's reproductive cycle. So cannabis is the only plant that has evolved this particular defense system. Whenever it senses a certain threshold level of UVB, it generates a very specific chemical compound which coats the trichomes and actually acts as a UVB filter. The higher the level of UVB, the more that chemical reaction is provoked in the plants. Uh, that chemical is called THC and it was really evolved to be a natural filter for UVB light and as we know it has other beneficial effects. So you can run uh, the UVB lamp in a separate series on a separate power. Each comes with its own on off power which will control all the lights plugged into the system down the chain. You can run this on its own special timer or you can combine it with the solar system controller and control the whole thing all at once. But a very simple timer is, is all you really need. You want to go just during that last two, two and a half weeks of bloom when your buds are forming and you're getting trichomes. You can stimulate that THC level. It's a well-known trick uh, with many growers, but there's never been a light powerful enough to actually make any difference in, a, in an easy to use, relatively inexpensive package. So this is a typical setup with our new solar system UVB. With a single light, you can place one on each side, or even one will give you pretty good coverage across a 4x4 canopy space. When you have lights in a series, you put one UVB fixture in between each grow light. So for even the largest rooms, you'll get very even UVB coverage. They'll piggyback together so you can control them all on a, a single timer or a single on off switch. Just want to re-emphasize never work under the UVB. Always turn this off before working in the plants or even walking in the room. It's very powerful UVB and it is damaging to your eyes and your skin. And it does a very incredible job with spiking certain chemical profiles uh, in the grow period. 
So the solar system UVB is a perfect companion to any of our solar system LED grow lights, the 1100, the 550, or the 275. It'll also work with any HPS or uh, metal halide light, giving you the same response. Uh, chain them together in a big room, use a single light in a tent. It's very versatile, it's very powerful, and will give you the best results you've ever had.